Right now at five, he went out for a jog and lost his life in one of the most brutal ways possible. And today, the killer stands trial. Good evening, I'm Chris Lawrence. I'm Cynthia Aguirre. Thomas Johnson is accused of attacking a man with a machete on White Rock Trail. Yeah, we, we want to warn you here, the details are extremely brutal. We're not sharing the worst of it, but even so, it may be difficult to hear. Here's Kevin Reese. It was brutal, horrific, an attack unlike anything police or paramedics had ever seen. And even almost four years later, witnesses who lived it were brought to tears again. He glared down at me with the most evil eyes I've ever seen. I've ever seen. That man who confessed to the attack is Thomas Lindsay Johnson. The victim was 53-year-old David Stevens, a man on his normal morning jog. A witness cycling on the trail saw it happen. The victim face down on the ground, the suspect standing over him with a machete in his hand. It was like one-handed, but it was as if trying to cut, like, like chop wood, like all the way over your head and back down, and just massive strokes. There was too much blood on the ground. There was too much blood on him. Um, more blood than I thought a, a human body could hold. A jury of seven women and five men were shown some of the most devastating autopsy photos you can ever see. An attack that only stopped with the machete lodged in the victim's skull. And the suspect, Thomas Johnson, calling 911 himself once he borrowed a witness's phone. Ma'am, I've been dead, but How are you, sir? Just on my back. Do you think the person is alive or anything? He's good. The defense does not argue that Thomas Johnson did this. Their only defense is Johnson's mental state and his diagnosed history of schizophrenia. Each time, asking each prosecution witness how they would describe the attacker they saw that morning. I mean, anybody that does anything like that has got to have something wrong with them. And for that reason, they will also challenge the confession Thomas gave to police at the murder scene and will have his family and friends testify that he was sick, not evil. And the jury will also learn there were two victims in this crime. First, the man who died in this horrific attack, and then the man's wife, unable to deal with how horrible his death was, took her own life just a few weeks later. This trial continues tomorrow. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese. Other news.